Hello everyone and welcome to Arduino Day 2023. We are in Torino and I have the pleasure to introduce you one of my favorite colleagues, the pro product managers, Marta and Francesca. Hello. Hello everyone. So what a year it has been, how many products we launched together and uh, talking about the, the many novelties we have in the pro line for the professional targeted products, let's start with one of the most uh, interesting families because it kind of stay in between from professional but also makers, which is the Nikla family. And it's one of your products, so go ahead. Ah, uh, it is. So what comes to your mind when you see one of these? You go first. Mm, it is very, very small. <laughs> yeah, and also it's packed with components. Yeah. There's everything here. Yeah, look, look at them. So we have three Niklas at the moment. The Nikla Vision, that is the one that I have in my hands with vision capabilities, really smart vision capabilities. We have a camera, we can see all the world around with this board. And then what else do we have? Here we have the Nikla Voice. Sorry, I, I need it to read because it's so small that <laughs> I couldn't read it. Uh, Nikla Voice, Nikla Voice to hear the word around, so to hear people, to hear sounds, whatever you like. And last but not least, the Nikla Sense Me. And the Nikla Sense Me has been developed together with Bosch to sense the word. So we can sense temperature, we can sense pressure, we can sense whatever we need. So what's in common between all of them? They are small, first of all, they can be battery powered, so mm -hmm. you can actually place them wherever you like, wherever you like, and forget about them because they have a really long life, they are low power, and also they are connected, as most of our products. They are connected with Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, with the cloud, so mm -hmm. everything can be at your hands anytime you like. And they are edge devices, right? So they are capable of doing things right where the, the thing happens. Definitely, so. definitely. You can run also some machine learning models directly on them. You'll have them really able to uh, detect any kind of events and identify them. Mm -hmm. So they can be trained to yes, be exactly. self, basically independent and react. Exactly, exactly. And we, they interact with all of the product uh, we, we do, right? Yes. In, in the pro business side yes. and Arduino in general. Yeah, cool. the Arduino ecosystem is all connected. We have the same libraries for hmm. all the boards. So if you know how to use one board, you would for hmm. sure be able to use another one. Right. <laughs> and you can also leverage the castellated pins I see they all have, right? Yes. Why is that? Yeah, they are there because you can, for instance, mount some headers or you can do even do uh, assembly, automatic assembly lines with them. So you can assemble them automatically without any nice. of, uh, being there. And yeah. I see a lot of things in here. So let's say I want to buy several thousands of those, those, but I don't need everything in there. Yeah, you can customize them depending on your need, of course. Cool. We are there to help any kind of requests from customers. Good to know. So this brings us to, to the next big novelty we had in the last year, which is a groundbreaking innovation for, for a, a traditional industry, let's say, right? A very ancient industry. Tell us something about it. I saw your face. <laughs> <laughs> you had in mind something like traditional means boring. That's that your is words. not boring, <laughs> absolutely. This is a very, very interesting product because it is something that brings a lot of news in this market and something uh, that can really open a very wide set of opportunities for uh, both Arduino programmers, but also for the programmers that are really used to the EEC um, 611-13-3 uh, programming languages. This product, first of all, is, of course, a product with an Arduino heart that is based on a, a very powerful brain because it is a, um, leveraging um, an STM32 microcontroller. So it is based, let's say, on our um, H7 platform, which is a very consolidated platform capable of uh, doing let's say, a lot of processing in terms of data. But on top of that, we have decided to create this micro PLC, which is um, a 
UL certified product, which means it is fully capable to work really in the industry, uh, complying with all the industrial standards, but uh, also leveraging everything to a higher level of connectivity and giving the possibility also to interact with cloud services thanks to its connectivity features. This means that we can offer three variants of it. Natively, even the basic one has the Ethernet on board, which also allows the possibility to go cloud. Uh, we have also an intermediate variant, which offers the possibility to run Modbus through the Modbus RTU, let's say terminal rack. And we have a third one, which also implements Wi-Fi and Bluetooth low energy radio. Wow. You so, can do everything with that. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us a little more about the traditional IEC 63 languages. So when you say we can use Arduino, but also Ladder and other languages like that, yes. what do you mean? I mean that uh, natively, this product uh, comes out to the market, let's say uh, pre-licensed for our users, so they can decide if to use all the five standard programming languages with Opta or the Arduino IDE, or let's say also both together, because we can also enable, thanks to the shared variables, the possibility to merge an Arduino sketch together with the IC programming nice. languages. Nice, very interesting. So, so we will have a, a PLC IDE that is already available in that once you purchase it, right? A dedicated PLC IDE that works together with the Arduino ecosystem, is that correct? We have it uh, already, let's say, for uh, our uh, Portenta machine control product. Mm -hmm. So the experience will be very, very similar, a bit customized, of course, mm -hmm. for the IOs that we expose for Opta. But this is the same type of experience that was, let's say, already uh, well evaluated by some of our uh, customers mm -hmm. of the Portenta machine control. The, the type of experience is the very same, and mm -hmm. we will give it uh, natively also on Opta. Nice. So, and we also chose a special partner to develop this product. Tell us something about it. <laughs> yes, exactly. You can see also their name here on our product. They are, uh, this partner is uh, Finder, which is, uh, let's say, uh, a, an industrial uh, relays manufacturer and uh, industrial uh, components manufacturer, which is uh, proudly in the market uh, since uh, almost 70 years. Yeah, a lot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. They're a big um, player in that market. They, they, they produce here in Italy. Mm -hmm. uh, they really have uh, a very, very deep experience in, uh, in this type of components manufacturing. And so we are really, really proud of this uh, cooperation with them. Nice. Uh, we, we really believe that that's going to change the way many people innovate within industrial automation. Of course, any products we're mentioning, you can find it on our store or authorized distribution distributor was worldwide. So as Francesca, but also Marta was mentioning before, they're all connected products, right? Onboard connectivity is key for us. And everything goes to some other service we have, which is the cloud, right? The Arduino IoT cloud, yeah. also for professional. Exactly. Tell us something about yes. it, please. Yes, we just deliver in the market the Arduino cloud for business for all our professional customers. And what does this cloud provide? Well, it's the same really easy and user-friendly experience that we have already with our Arduino cloud that everyone already knows, but uh, with some advanced features for a professional market. So we integrate a really great device management there, mm. so you can manage all your devices also from remote. A fleet management system, so you can manage your fleet of devices, because imagine an industrial customer, maybe they have 1,000 boards uh, integrated in their products, and they need to be able to monitor all of them and mm. to be able to update also uh, their firmware, their software from remote. And last but not least, what we provide is also the, our own based access control. And what does this mm. mean? It means that all your team can have access to your cloud, can check dashboards, can customize widgets, but each member has a specific role. You can mm -hmm. customize what they are actually capable of doing because maybe you don't want your customers to change your code or right. you don't want your customers to, I don't know, update some widgets because you want to provide the best experience right. possible, no? 
So this is what we can provide with Arduino Cloud for Business. Interesting. And, and also you mentioned the, the, the possibility to remotely update the firmware. So over the air updates, we know that in B2B business security is key. Yeah. What can you tell us about that? Yeah, we can do this over, over the air updates in a really secure way because we are actually leveraging the secure elements that we have embedded in all, on all our boards. So they have the secure element that can uh, collect all uh, the different encryptions, they can collect the uh, security certificates. So we are for, for sure um, able to update all their devices in a really secure way and our, our customers are all really uh, satisfied with that. Okay, nice. So we talked about our solutions, our products, even the cloud. Let's talk about real world applications. So there are many customers already using our solutions worldwide. But let's think about something complicated. Industrial automation, right? What, what pops to your mind if I say robot? Robots. Well, everybody loves robots. Right? Yeah, they do. So imagine to have this Nikla Vision, so the really small board that we spoke about before, on the tip of a robot. What this Nikla Vision is able to do is able to detect the word around this robot. So also to detect the pieces, the goods that this robot needs to pick. Right, um, so this is the eye of the robot, exactly, right? Exactly, mm -hmm. exactly the eye. An and it's intelligent also eye. Intelligent and connected, right. also with Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, or cabling if you need it. Mm -hmm. And then what happens? What's the brain? Yeah, the brain can be, for instance, our Portent X8. Mm -hmm. Because Portent X8 with Linux can have a ROS container running. Okay. Yeah, it can control the full trajectory of the robot. So the Nikla Vision said, okay, this is the actual good you need to pick. And it speaks with Portent X8 that control the robot and automate it so that the robot will actually pick the specific piece. Mm -hmm. And then all of that can be fully oversee from remote with our cloud. Nice. And we can see, for instance, the usage trends, we can see the production line, uh, how many goods are actually produced during that specific time slot, everything from remote. Wow, it sounds fascinating, but we make it simple. You can do it. It's not that complicated on a technical perspective, Definitely thanks to not. the ecosystem we, we have in place, right? Yeah. So what else? In industrial automation, we have a lot of equipment in the production line, right? Yeah. Let's talk about uh, an example of equipment application. In fact, talking about what you can see and oversee, mm. and also, let's say, control, one really interesting application is also predictive maintenance. Mm -hmm. And something that you can do with Opta is also actuating things, right. which means that thanks to uh, some external sensors like Niklas or any other kind of sensors that you can, con can connect, you can, for example, detecting anomalies through temperature variances or um, like vibration differences right. from the standard, mm -hmm. and you can uh, elaborate them mm -hmm. thanks to AI algorithms running on board of the Opta and Amazing. detect what is happening, what is going wrong and make an actuation like, for example, stopping a machine that is risking to make a deviation from his path and braking. Right, because you have a, a, a trained AI algorithm within Opta that knows how the equipment is supposed to behave, right? You can do that, and exactly. And if it's, it's, as you said, it's variating, then you react preventing uh, any kind of you know, malfunction or even production line stops, right? So um, it's not all about production. We, are, we have a very versatile vertical markets and applications. Let's talk about building. You know, that's a huge topic. Energy consumption and all that stuff. Home automation. Yeah, exactly. Also with the Nikla, we can automate our home. For mm -hmm. instance, we can build an automatic intruder detection using, okay. for instance, a Nikla voice. How? Oh. So with the Nikla voice that is really smart, it has some neural networks running on it. It is able to detect any weird sounds, for instance, glass breaking or people speaking, but they should not speak mm -hmm. at the time, or vibrations coming, for instance, from a door that has been opened uh, unexpectedly. In, and at that point, it can communicate with uh, a portent H7 that mm. acts as like a sort of gateway and notify people, say, okay, there's a thief in your home, so you need to come back, or right. you, you need to intervene. 
And this is yeah. done really securely, so we are able to to be there on time. Because mm -hmm. yeah. you have the, the Sintian's neural uh, processor in here that, that is listening on the edge exactly. in an anonymous way, right? Exactly. And not reacting only when recognize an event. Exactly. Right? And so Remini is still really low power without consuming a lot of um, power. Cool. Yeah. Very cool. Uh, so this was safety, intruder, intruder detection. How about energy consumption? Yeah, this is really also something in which Opta fits very well. She loves Opta. <laughs> you can see that. That's yeah. true. That's, that's really true. I mean, Opta can, for example, interact with an energy meter. Mm. And let's say, thanks to its connected, powerful features, we can, for example, think to uh, actuate remotely some electrical devices that can be connected to Opta. And uh, we can maybe also think about some, uh, let's say, uh, scheduled operation mm -hmm. based on our consumption profiles mm -hmm. that we can collect thanks to what we can gather from this conjunction of devices that we can send to our cloud so we can make some evaluation of how much we are consuming, in which way we can get our consumption path. We can decide when and how to operate our devices to save our energy and to save our money. Right, so we are, we are environmental friendly, we save money, which is always nice, <laughs> and we make our house smarter, right? Absolutely. So it's very powerful, and I'm definitely want, eager to try that. Can you give me one in the future? <laughs> I don't know, maybe. <laughs> Let's I see. know, I know, I know. So it has been a pleasure. Thank you very much, Martin Francesca. Thanks to you, Stefan. It was great. So happy Arduino Day. Enjoy all the sessions. They are going to be amazing. And stay tuned.